Hello, hello. He's hang on. Hello. I think this thing is on. I think this thing is on. Hello, Flash and Ben SD leaked. Uh, Damaris, JVDK, number seven, Black Steel. Hello, everybody. Uh, Demo Knight, hello to you. First time chatter. MK Shark, welcome. How are you and Max doing? We are both doing pretty good. If you can see Max's face, <laughs> this is how we're doing right now. Yeah, there's the boss. There's the boss. You have a problem. Your mouse is now magically stuck to your hand after clicking. Uh, what? There's a whole lot of cat to love here. <laughs> we need more Max on your streams. It feels like he's on my streams too much sometimes. Yesterday, he kept wanting attention like almost every five minutes, I felt like. L underscore S underscore R just resubbed for 59 months. This one is for Max. You better not buy anything not max related. <laughs> Kappa. LSR, thank you so much for the resub, dude. 59 months, appreciate it. False! Raiding with like 600 peeps. Welcome, Raiders. Welcome, False. Thank you so much. Where were you streaming today, False? I didn't get a chance to see uh, to see your stream. Yeah, got a cat -o. Mm hmm. Have you never seen Max? It's my cat, Max. Had him for about three and a half years. Oh, you're doing some Hermitcraft. Nice, nice. Uh, Virtualize, there's only so much cuteness to go around. Yeah, got a rag doll here. Uh, oh, you've seen him, but he is cute. He is super adorable. He's got this thing where like, He'll wait in my office when I'm about to start streaming. And he'll just sit on his cat tree, doing his own thing. As soon as I start talking, like, I say hello. As soon as I say hello, he jumps down, he comes over, and he's like, Oh, I want attention now. <laughs> um, Dude, you're holding a pillow. He looks so fluffy. He is very, very fluffy. Are his eyes blue? Yeah. Yeah, you can see his eyes. That cat knows. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put him down. Oh, oh, oh. He looks so tired. He's, well, I mean, what? Cats sleep like all day long anyway. You wanna hug that catto? <laughs> he wants to be famous. Yeah, I don't know if he knows that he's on camera. I assume he knows something about when I start streaming, but I have no idea. Uh, he does like to leave cat fluff everywhere though, so as with tradition, I need to pull out the, uh, the lint roller real quick. I'm sure you guys can understand. He's got a lot of fluff. He's very fluffy and he likes to leave it all over my shirt. Max is only two months older than your cat. I think I got most of it. Ragdolls tend to shed a lot during winter. When I got him as a brand new kitten, he didn't shed at all. And it was like the first year of owning owning him, he didn't really the Mac just resubbed for 38 months. He didn't really shed at all. Um, but yeah, like within the last 
I would say two years or so. Especially like when he gets up and bolts out of the room real quick, whether he sees something and he's attracted to it or I make a sound and he's not expecting it. Like he'll leave a little tuft of fur on the ground. Find those everywhere now. <laughs> Nimic, thank you so much for the 38 month resub. Welcome back, dude. Just get a rag doll that stays a kitten. Easy, man. If I could. Oh, actually, I'm not sure I'd want to do that. Like, they are super adorable, but when Max was a kitten, he wanted to chew everything. He, like, ruined a bunch of audio equipment. He, uh, he chewed through my optical cable that went to the sound bar that was connected to my TV. He, uh, chewed the power cord that goes to my laptop, the charging cord, like... Anything that he could chew, he would chew. He was almost like a dog. He also likes attacking my slippers. I don't know why. When I first got Max, the breeder that I bought him from told me that he was very interested in shoes for some reason. I don't know. I guess some cats like that or... Maybe he found that as a toy when he was a kitten, like brand new, like, I don't know. But like, if there's a shoe around, he'll go over and just start attacking it. <laughs> Cables, nom, 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 nom. Yeah, exactly. Uh, they're so playful when their kittens need too much attention. Need so much attention? Yeah. Uh, so we are not playing Hermitcraft, by the way, if that wasn't obvious. We are playing modded Minecraft here. This is Slice of Pie 2. This is a server that's run by Jassassin. And it's really only Jassassin, myself, and sometimes King Daddy DMAC that plays on this server. I don't know if DMAC is still playing. I haven't seen him recently, but I think he only plays two times a week. I don't know if he's still playing or not. I haven't been keeping up with what he's doing. Um, so basically it's, it's almost like single player right now, but that's fine. Cause we're just messing around and having fun here. Hacksite 99. Hello. Welcome. Could suggest empty boxes as a distraction. Oh man. Every time I get something like ordered from wherever and there's a box, as soon as I open that box, before I open the box, Max is interested in it. As soon as I open the box, the box contains Max. Uh, Dr. And Mrs. Dill, you can do exclamation mark, fave pack. We have a command for that. Mm -hmm. DMAC might have finished what he was doing high end Batania last you saw a couple weeks ago. I, I don't know if he got bored or if he's just not interested in the pack anymore. I have no idea. Yep. Uh, last live stream, we dug out this room and built these walls. One thing I did realize, though, is this has got to change. Let me grab some more red rock. These corners we were doing previously. Oh, I forgot how speedy this axe is. <laughs> I guess I haven't used this axe since uh, we put in this haste beacon. Yeah, these corners I've been doing with the red rock, so we are going to continue that pattern here. Uh, this. Yeah, Jassassin said he's been having video card issues, unfortunately. He did mention that his RMA has been processed and he should be back on Thursday, I think is the last that I heard from him. Mm -hmm. That is true as far as I know. All right. Doot, 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 doot. Boop. Yeah, that looks much better. Kind of gives that a separation there instead of just oak. We'll do the same over here. So we'll do the same on all four corners, I guess. Okay. 
So good news about vanilla Minecraft clay will be renewable with the wilds update. I mean, it's cool. It's good that there's renewable clay. But you could always have gone out to your world and explored further out and gone to swamps. And, like, swamps have an abundance of clay. So I don't know if that's really... Uh, was that really an issue? I, to me, it wasn't. Rivers have had clay that you could go and get to. Not saying anything bad about the update, but, I mean, that particular thing, like... It's cool. It's good. Like, I'm glad that the dripstone has another functionality. I don't think it's a game changer. What am I going to use this room for? So, uh, this is going to have another floor. So, the ceiling will be a little bit lower than what it is right now. So, we're going to have, like, a floor here. And that's going to be, like, our cable area for underneath our automated machines. This level down here, however, what you're asking about... Uh, this is going to be for our kelp farm. We're going to move it from upstairs. So currently we have a kelp farm right here. This is the building that we're in underneath it. We have a kelp farm over here. And we're going to move that underneath this building. That way we can free up some of these loaded chunks that we have over here that really don't need to be loaded. So that'll be over here, our kelp farm. So it'll automatically grow kelp which gets turned into biofuel, and then that gets converted into ethylene, which then gets burned in a gas burning generator, which makes our power. So our power generation and our kelp farm is gonna be moved under here. Yeah, that's what we're doing right now. But we're just kind of like getting this room, this room kind of finished. That seems good. Just one left to do. How much more red rock? I got enough. Pretty sure I got enough. So this is the new Monster Cat album. This is Uncaged Volume 11? Yeah. Uncaged Volume 11. This album was just released today, apparently. I don't know if all the songs are brand new on it, but the album itself was released today. It's nice having some new music. You really like the Binding of Isaac Repentance vids? That Isaac run was really close. That was the one that was called Isaac's Tears, right? I think I saw the title of it. I don't remember the run. I'll probably go and watch it a little bit later. Like, scrub through it. Right, there we go. Corners are now got a thingy in them. So I think we want to put like a floor somewhere in here. We got to figure out like how low we want that. Do I know what server hosting Hermitcraft is on as Bibo underscore underscore? I do not. That would be a question that you should ask Azuma because he is the one that takes care of that stuff, not me. Yeah, we do pay for it. So it's not like... I, we're not going through a provider like MC Pro Hosting or Cube Toast or any of those guys. We have our own server that we pay for that's completely unrelated to a Minecraft hosting thing. You thought X had it on his own server? I mean... X doesn't have a data center in his house, <laughs> right? So when you say it like that, you make it sound like X has its own his own data center, and he doesn't. It's a paid server that's in the cloud somewhere that we all pay for. No, he does not have a local server like Jassassin does, no. Not that I'm aware of, maybe he does.
Uh, actually, I need I need some more of these. Okay, so we need to figure out the level. I guess I should grab some scaffolding. Get scaffolding and place regular blocks to scaffold up with. So we got one, two, three, four, five. I think five blocks. So like this level. One, two, three, four, five. And then this level. I think that's all we need actually. I have no idea what we're going to make the flooring out of. Maybe we'll just make it all out of this red rock. Thank you, Esty. The Torch Master mod is something that places torches? I don't need torches placed. Back, uh, 13 months, welcome back! Becca underscore 11 just resubbed for 13 months. Why am I placing the blocks by hand? I have a builder's wand, I don't know what I'm doing. Guys, I have no idea what- Where am I? Does anybody know where I am right now? I have no idea. I need a, I need an adult. Red rock. Are we gonna have enough? Is that gonna be enough? I hope so. Wee, wee. Okay. Where is my wand? Did I put that away? I didn't. Uh, let's set this to horizontal. Is there not a horizontal setting? Uh, north south would be fine, I guess. No. Horizontal. It's weird that they don't just name it horizontal. They name it like left, right, and then you gotta read like the description. Think they know how to read? It's a very bold assumption of them. So now we need some more elevator blocks. We. I know, reading? Ugh. Like, who does that? Okay, so now that we have that solved, we need... Uh, elevate... I never made a recipe for elevators. Let's make an elevator recipe! Elevator... R... This... Boop, boop, boop. And that can go into here somewhere. I don't know where. How about right here? We need nine of these. How are we doing on Ender Pearls? We have 20,000. I think we had 11,000 yesterday. So we're doing pretty good, I would say. Uh, I need Red Rock the crack so we can change the color. That is not what I meant to do. That is also not what I meant to do. Do 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 and boop 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 boop. So now we can. Yay! Yay! We did it. All right, so that can go back. So now we have a floor under here that we can manage our cables or do whatever we need, and then all the way down here, yeah, we can access this bigger room. As a devout reader, I am offended. Oh no. Anyway, uh, hey Lincoln, how you doing? Rip beacon? Yeah, this beacon's gonna go anyway. Let's go ahead and get rid of this. Well, it's got such a sad sound. Actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna leave the base here in case I ever decide to set this back up. Maybe I'll just leave the entire beacon here. I don't know. Maybe we'll decide to dig the floor out further or something. 
I guess I should have just left it just as it was and just covered it all up. You know, there's plenty of space. We could do like three or four more rooms if we wanted to. Like further down? You're talking about dividing that room into another one? I mean, we could. It's low enough, so the floor that we're at right now, this level, we will, we shouldn't, we shouldn't hear, like, the generators generating and the pistons and stuff like that. I'm hoping, because that is 20 blocks lower, and sound is 16 blocks, I think? So it gives us, like, a couple of blocks up and down to build with. Where's the new beacon location going to be? Right where it's at. We'll worry about setting that back up if we need it again. See, here's the thing. We're not playing vanilla. We're playing modded. So nether stars, we have 2,104 of these things. So I can make beacons all day long. Uh, gold blocks for more bases. We have 20,000 of those. Like, I can set up a beacon anywhere. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what was I doing? I was about to do a thing. Only 20,000. I know. I know. What kind of a scrub only has 20,000? Uh, I guess what we could do... We could bring this line... The uh, dense cable, bring that all the way over to here, or maybe to the end of the room, and then down? Or it could go down right here. And then we can bring this cable underneath the floor over to where it needs to be. That might be, that might be what we should do. Dense cable. I only have six of those, we need more. Let's make like 32 more. Seems good. Auto crafting is the best. I like it very much. That's my song, by the way. Hope you liked it. If not, you can leave. Just kidding. Oh boy. Do I? Hmm. I could run the cable down behind the wall and then have that come out over here. We might do that, in fact. You like the song. <laughs> it's the bestest song ever. So we need to get ourselves a sods. Whoop, two of these. Two of those. Just the two of us. Uh this. Boop. All right, that, and then down here, we need another facade right now. Boop. Okay. Then this cable needs to be changed ever so slightly. Device missing channel. We got to wait. Hypno is extra sassy today. No, I'm just the right amount of sassy today. Mm-hmm. Just the right amount, actually. <laughs> Sassy. Hmm. Hmm. I'm trying to decide how I am going to run this cable all the way across. I guess we just, I guess we just facade it, or not facade, scaffold it up. Can I reach? No, I can't reach. Oh, good. Can I get this thing? Yes. Ghost blocks. Perfect.
Haha! Scaffolding ghost blocks are best. Oops, not there. Let's see, so we want, is it on this block? This block? Yup. Here we go. Since that is the case, your next design challenge when you build a base would be to make the walls out of glass and put all your AE2 cables in the walls as aquariums. Wait, what? Look, I'm not cheating. If Mojang thought it was an issue, they would have fixed it in vanilla. But since they didn't fix it in vanilla, obviously they wanted it in the game. Tell me I'm cheating. You're cheating. Since you can water log the cables. Yeah, I don't know about that, dude. <laughs> okay. So now we can get rid of that cabling upstairs. So I need a couple of red rock blocks. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, I need another red rock block. Maybe I will put this cracked one here. It's kind of like a reminder that there's a hole underneath that and that's where the beacon is. I think we'll do that. Okay. <laughs> it's not cheating, it's clever use of game mechanics, right? That's what I've been telling you guys this whole time. I guess I could technically get rid of this cable. I just have that like right here and just have like a normal cable. Because um, we're only using seven channels. We don't need 32 channels available. If we ever decide to use more, which I doubt with this setup, but if we ever decide to use more, we can always change it back. Am I, is that how that is downstairs? Yep, that's how that is down there. Okay. I'm happy with that. Your Nightbot message, it's not cheating, it's creative use of game mechanics. There is a difference, Kappa. Was your team speak avatar picture for a very long time? Glad you enjoyed that, dude. <laughs> yeah, that kind of like evolved over time. By uh, playing modded Minecraft, people were like, oh, that's cheating, you can't do it. And it's like, hey, it's not my fault the mod makers made their mods in such a way. If it was cheating, they would have fixed it. <laughs>
All right, so now that we have that done, next step is we need to look at our kelp farm that we have over here. Kind of figure out what we're doing and then rebuild it downstairs. Are we going to use the same material? I kind of feel like this deep slate doesn't really make much sense in our color scheme that we're using now. Like we made it out of this because we had that material at the time and I didn't know what to make it out of. But now that everything's kind of like oak and this red rock and some spruce, I think we should rebuild this in such a way. We could even build it so it's glass so we could see it. We could build everything out of glass. What blocks are these? Glass stairs. Right! I forgot we were using glass stairs in here. Will you use some machines for growing kelp or will it be vanilla farm? It's just going to be exactly this. In fact, I could literally just break this whole thing up, just tear it down, and then rebuild it downstairs. But I think I want to change these blocks. Let's go sleepity sleep. Mama Drama, thank you so much for the 100 bits. What forge are you running to run this mod pack? And what is the name of the mod pack? The name of the mod pack is in the title of the live stream. And what forge we're using to run it, I have no idea. Because this is not my server. Whatever comes with the server files. You miss those fun bugs like how Snad wasn't supposed to be redstone activated? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I guess we're not limited by any particular sizing. We have it 16, but it could be like as long as we want. Let's get some things auto craftable, like, um, what are those things called? Observers. Oh, this, that. We'll make that cobblestone. Thank you. Observer. And then we need piston. I think we have that. We don't have a recipe for regular piston. How do we have a recipe for sticky piston, but not a recipe for regular piston? That makes no sense. <laughs> How are you going to make your regular piston that goes in that recipe? So it's looking like cobblestone is a thing that might be a problem. Let's go drop this cobblestone off in a, a thing over here. Am I getting into nuclear craft in this pack? Is nuclear craft even in this pack? I have no idea. Okay, so now we have cobblestone available. I think I had a bunch of cobble in this too. Hmm. Hmm. You don't think nuclear craft even exists for 116? Yeah, it'd be really nice if people actually looked at the mod pack mod list and like did that before asking if I'm going to do something or why am I not using a specific mod or whatever, but it is what it is. Uh, anything else that needs to go in there? I think, yeah, do we have clay? No, we don't have clay. Sulfur, Appetite, Certus, Quartz. Okay, we can put some Certus in there. And then we could take like... Nah, I think we'll just leave the ores in here until we need them. 
I don't think we have a drawer for dirt. Okay, I think we're fine. Man. I'm sure there is a docking pad for it, but I'm not interested in doing that. I just wanted to make sure we had cobblestone for these recipes. We even have a cob B, which we should probably get going just to make cobblestone. But I think 13,000 is going to last us for quite some time, so I'm not, like, super worried about it. All right, so now that we have that done, uh, we were going to make observers, pistons. Oh, I didn't put... Wait. I didn't actually make that recipe, did I? Okay. Piston and observer they can all go onto this vanilla line that's fine so observer why am i not seeing observer because i'm spelling it incorrectly so currently we have 16 and 16 so 32 i guess we can just kind of duplicate that And then we can make it longer should we deem it necessary. Then we need 32 pistons. Um, glass? We needed some glass stairs. And I'm assuming it's going to be the same amount as we have pistons. Yeah, so we're going to need 64 glass stairs. Doesn't have to be glass, just has to be a stair, but we're gonna do glass stairs. Uh, glass panes. We don't have a recipe for that. Let's make a recipe for glass panes. That line of vanilla stuff is kind of like in the middle of all this modest stuff. So we'll make a new line for vanilla stuff is fine. So glass pane, we're going to need 22 more of those. I guess it's going to make half a stack. So I don't need these 10, but we're going to take them with us. So we have the stairs, we have the pistons, we have the uh, observers, the glass panes. We need redstone. We need... Uh, Target blocks, if I remember correctly. So we need one of those recipes. We need one of those recipes. Um, repeaters. What's the other one? Comparator. We should make recipe for both of those. Repeater. What are these? Pulse repeater, adjustable repeater. And we'll just make the vanilla ones. It's fine. Do we have a recipe for sticks? We do. Uh, yeah, repeater and then a uh, comparator. I don't think we have a recipe for stone. We should probably make a recipe for stone. Why is this sorted by number of items? This terminal got reset. I'm gonna keep this here to remind myself. Okay, so we're doing redstone comparator now. So we need a recipe for this. That's fine. And then we need a recipe for the redstone torch. And then we need a recipe for stone. So clear that out. That equals this. And that will go into our furnace. Mm, what's it called? 
Ultimate Smelting Factory. Okay, and then these can just go in here. Let's make sure that we can actually craft stone. Looks like that's going correctly. Just making sure that was working. Have I had any ghosts in my world? No. Captain Mush says, Hypno, that Isaac run today was by the skin of your teeth. Good job. Glad you liked it, dude. Car Doodles, how was my day so far? It's been pretty good. Sorry, I've been kind of like focused on what I'm doing here. Okay, well, since we know that works, we don't need to craft up that many. Let's cancel this. Zoop, zoop, zoop. Okay, it's good enough. Just as long as it works is all that matters. Uh, so comparator. What else do we need? Hopper. Do we have recipes for hoppers? No, let's make a recipe for that just to have it. The log recipe is just fine for that. Um, We don't really need a drawer because we're just gonna move our existing drawer over and then all that other stuff will be moved over. So right now we're just focusing on getting the kelp farm up and running and then we can like start bringing the other pieces over. The tombstone mod adds ghosts during October. I've not seen a ghost. However, I do have a bunch of uh, mega torches around that prevents hostile mobs from spawning. So that could be preventing those from showing up. All right, so we're going to do one, two, three. All right, one, two, three. So that'll be our corner. I want that to be the redstone rail side. So I think this is actually where the farm starts. So we have the piston, we have water, we have piston, water. I gotta go look, I can't remember. I think it's piston, water, glass, and then glass pane. Should probably just count how wide this thing is. So piston, water, glass stair, glass pane. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, not including the redstone lines. Could be a mistake, but you keep seeing a ghost at the bottom white right of your screen. Ooh, spooky. Ooh. Ooh. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's gonna be where the redstone is. This is the edge of the building. Ooh, spooky. <laughs> Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So this would match the exact size that we already have. I don't know if it needs to be much bigger than this or if it needs to be bigger at all. Okay. 
Okay, and then we have glass is fine to be right here. This needs to be swapped out to dirt. Or actually, kelp can grow on other things besides dirt, right? Maybe it'll be able to grow on this. Maybe we don't need to swap that out for dirt. Let's find out. Works just fine. Okay. Let's go grab another bucket of water. I feel like it used to be very specific on what it could grow on before, but maybe I'm misremembering. I know you can grow it on soul sand now. And that used to be a thing you couldn't. I don't think that's changed in this pack. I think you still can't in this pack. Because this is 116, not 117. But again, I could be mistaken. So that's all set. Isn't that supposed to be glass stairs? No, glass stairs go on the same level as the pistons. Because when the pistons push, they delete the source block that was right in front of them, and the glass stairs will remake them. Oh, I'm going to need a little bit more of these in. If I'm using those for the sides like that, I'm going to need a little bit more. Actually, no, I'm not. Never mind. I was thinking I was using 32 per side, but I'm definitely not. Now, can you can place redstone on this? I assume this is going to work just fine. I don't know if the redstone that's powered on this will transfer the power to these pistons, though. I don't know. I guess we should find that out before I start placing all this. I don't have a redstone torch. Let's go get a redstone torch. I'm assuming it won't transfer power and we'll have to swap those to another block, but I don't know for sure. This is why we're testing. Yep, does not work. Okay, so these absolutely have to be another block. Whoa there. Uh, so let's see. I guess Red Rock? Yeah, there's really not much room to make this thing any bigger. I was thinking we had more room in this building, but apparently not. So it's fine. We don't really need it bigger. I'm going to actually remove that so I can jump up here. Okay, so next, 
thing that we need to do. Let's get this sorted. Uh, I guess we gotta delete that. That's fine. It's annoying, but it's fine. Oh, that doesn't work, does it? I gotta place this in each stair. Okay. So I need to replace that kelp. And I guess we replace this to stop the flood. Okay, so that should be able to grow two blocks tall. So now we can place our observers. I don't know how that happened, but okay. Will I make a Let's Play on Manufactio? No. You can watch my live streams of it. I have no interest in playing that pack again. So let's see. So now we need water flowing. Mm, probably the next thing we should do is get our glass panes in place. Yeah, let's get our glass panes in place. Okay, and then we have flowing water on top, I think. Yeah, I think that's all we need to do, just flowing water on top. What is even happening? Oh, okay. I see what's going on. It wasn't getting enough time for the source blocks to form underneath it. That's right. So probably getting rid of the redstone would be the smartest thing to do. And then putting the redstone back after we get all this water in place. All right. Then we just need a ceiling on top and then we are pretty much good to go. Probably red rock slabs.
I'm out. I need more. Have I ever considered replaying FTB Ultimate, the first one for nostalgia? You talking about FTB Ultimate Expert? Are you talking about the expert version of that, or are you talking about just the normal version? Another way old one from like 2013. You talking about just the kitchen sink version of the mod pack? No, I haven't considered playing that again. Snazzy boy says, hi, Hypno, is my bro's B-Day? Can you say happy B-Day, Harry? No, I can't say that, actually. It is impossible for me to say happy B-Day, Harry. Can't do it. Oh, uh, so let's see. Now that we have that, we need our conveyor belts. I mean, do we do we need to do conveyor belts? We could do a bunch of accumulators, I guess. Is it a bad pack? Is it just your nostalgia vision telling you that it's good? It's not a bad pack. It's just old. It have to be ultimate. Wasn't that like? 1.4.3 or something. It's like super old, dude. Like really old. I, that might be old enough where like click dragging items aren't a thing. Like there's a lot of quality of life things that they've added to Minecraft over the years that you don't remember until you go back and play like an old mod pack like that. And you're like, how did I even play like this? So like trying to craft, I don't know, a furnace and a crafting grid, you have to go and place cobblestone in all eight slots manually, like clicking in each slot. Multiple accumulators would work. It would work. I'm not sure if that's what I want to do though. Yeah, the pack isn't bad. It's just like, it's old. Hello, I has cup quack. Yeah, I think you, there was, uh, there was mouse tweaks back then. So you could get some of that functionality, but like, I don't know. The main thing is you miss Greg Tech. Greg Tech Horizons is just too grindy. Um, you should check out possibly FTB Interactions. That's a 112 pack. It has Greg Tech Community Edition in it, which is grindy. But from my understanding, people have said that it would take you like a thousand hours or more to be new horizons i've never played the pack myself so i don't know for sure uh or maybe they said it, you couldn't beat it in like less than a year or i don't know something along those lines i've heard that's gonna take a really long time uh ftb interactions with greg tech community edition took me about 400 hours to to beat i can't remember exactly how long it was but it was somewhere around there like it was a fairly reasonable amount of time but if you're lacking that Greg Tech feeling, maybe that's something you should check out. There's been a lot of mod packs over the years that had like uh, Greg Tech Reborn or I forget the name of it. But there was like another mod that emulated the old school Greg Tech from Ultimate. I can't even remember the name of the packs that had that. Yeah, FTB interactions. I have like 73 days worth of live stream from playing that pack. I think I did that like two years ago or something. But it can get pretty crazy. I I enjoyed it. It like 
It wasn't like crazy, crazy grindy, but it was grindy enough that I was like, yep, this is Greg Tech. <laughs> You like FTB interactions, but you hate the space exploration? Yeah, I mean, the one planet that you went to that had like, what was it, a, a one minute day night cycle? I forget what planet that was. Like, that was a little crazy. It's constantly turning day of the night and day of the night, and like, the light changes are just causing a bunch of lag and all of that. Get yeah, target locked, target acquired. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of good memories from that pack. Definitely. All right, so we have this set up and we're just dropping kelp all over the ground. So we need to like get the collection system figured out. Honestly, I would like this to just be picked up out of the world as soon as it like appears in the world. Maybe vacuumulators would be the best way. Now, I don't know. I don't know the upgrades for Vacuumulators. Potion, Area Effect, Radial Enhancement. I don't know. Maximum Radius plus one. So do I have to add in like 15 of these? Like, I don't know. I mean, having more than one Vacuumulator is fine. I'm not that concerned about it. We can just filter out Kelp. And then we can use something like the mechanism pipes to extract out of accumulators. But I just want them out of the world fast so I'm not picking them up with my magnet. You can put four of them in. The book tells you Thermal has a book. Look at this. I didn't know Thermal had a book. Is this the first book Thermal Expansion has ever had? It very well quite could possibly be. Oh, I guess it doesn't actually use the wrench. Welcome to the Thermal Series Guidebook. From all of us who worked on it, we hope you enjoy. Thanks, everyone who worked on it. Resize UI. How large is your monitor even? <laughs> okay. I like it. Um I guess it'd be under storage and transport. Wait, why are they talking about Xnet? Dynamics is currently on a hold. As other features of thermal series are being fleshed out, please be patient. The following pages will have other recommended pipe mods. Got it. Okay. I was like, Xnet is made by RF Tools guy. I forget his name off the top of my head. Not the thermal guys. Refined pipes, integrated tunnels. Okay. So this doesn't tell me what I want. So what I am looking for, 65 items in a stack. Oh, okay. Energetic infuser, what? Guys in FAQ world holding. Did I miss? So that is the thing. Oh, machines. Pulverizer. No, it's not a machine. Devices. Vacuumulator. Okay. At base, the vacuumulator collects in a 9x9x9 area centered on it, which can be augmented up to 15x15x15 15 by 15 by 15 using radial augments. So I need larger than that. We need... 32 by like one. 
Uh, so I guess two Vacuumulators with one Augment each. There'll be a slight little bit of overlap. So this says 15 by 15 or 9 by 9 by 9. So that means it will pick up four blocks above it by default. So we could hide that under the floor. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And if that's the case, if we are going the Vacumulator route, we could probably get rid of this top line of flowing water and the, the this thing. I think we should do that because I'm like, don't like listening to the flowing water. So we could have solid blocks of water or solid blocks of glass up here. That way we have standing water. It's 16, isn't it? Um, yes, this is 16 long. So the max updated one is 15 by 15 by 15. So either way, we would need two of these. Did I say 32? I might have said 32. Um, yeah, at, at minimum, we need two of these. But we need two unaugmented ones, so... I think we'll go this way. Just two unaugmented ones with the filters to grab kelp only. Okay, so first things first, let's go ahead and get rid of the flowing water. The less noise pollution, the better. Okay, so now we can walk freely in here. I mean, since we don't have that, we could literally squish this one block closer together too, right? It's fine. We'll leave it just like this. So I need two Vacumulators. I have three of them, actually. Well, I made a recipe. We can just throw it in here. If we need more later, we have a recipe for it. Okay, so this will make it 18 blocks. If we put these like at the maximum distance, we only need 16. So one, two, three, four, five. It's fine. We'll just stick it there. Actually, I guess we could put this one block lower. One, two, three. Yeah, this will pick it up. Okay, and then one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so now we need two filters. Let's make a recipe for that. That line was full, I forgot. Mm -hmm. Augment, so that'll go in here. Filter, allow, kelp. I think that's all I gotta do. This this allow kelp yeah i don't like how it sits there for a little bit and then it decides to pick it up but i guess that's probably best so it's not like every tick trying to pick things up
Okay, so... Logistical transporters. Confuse type or configuring items. Extract. I don't know where we're going to take this stuff just yet. So what we need to do, I mean, oh, actually, you know what I just realized? This is where we've been having our lily pads of fertility, but I guess we could make the floor out of water that we walk on. Just have the lily pads there as our walkway. We could do that. That should be fun. It's already collecting. Okay, so that's working just the way I want it. Uh, and Pasley, you can run exclamation mark mod pack, and that will tell you the, the mod pack. So what I want to do at this point is have this pipe go into something that we can use a comparator on to see if that contains items. X missile for Shizlex just resubbed for 28 months. 28 months. What have I been thinking, lol? What have you been thinking, lol? So the way I want this to work is the pipe is going to dump it into something like a hopper and that hopper is going to go into a drawer. The hopper we're only using so we can get a redstone signal off of it. Uh, or a comparator signal off of it. And if the hopper is full, like it contains items, we want to stop this farm from running so it's just not running all the time. Only when we need more kelp. Wildabar just resubbed for 40 months. 40 months? I question my life choices. Willabar, I question your life choices as well. Thank you so much for the 40 month resub, dude. Mizzle, thank you for the 28 month. Appreciate you, dude. Yeah, I think we'll just go back to the hopper drawer combo that we used previously. So put a block here, hopper here. Nope. So this should be getting kelp, and then this will go into the drawer. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, this will go into a drawer here, and then we'll have like a, a slab right there. So we can actually see what's in the drawer. So I'm not going to put a new drawer here. We're going to use the one that we already have existing. But before I do that, we need to start thinking about how we are going to hook up our other machines. So we have a crusher that we need. We have a lot of mechanism machines that we need to get here. You know what? We could do applied energistics for this. Thinking about it, we could use like the, um, put a, 
put a storage bus on the drawer so we can see how much stuff is in there and use the redstone thing like if there's a whatever number we specify emit a redstone signal we could do it that way i feel like this is just more foolproof in case we run out of power in case something happens to our network any number of things i think this is probably just the safer method yeah i think that's what we're gonna do is continue doing like we do uh let me go grab kind of like an idea of what we are what machines we need so we can get that hooked up okay so electrolytic separator i mean we could technically just take all these machines down there the problem is i don't know how long we have like how long this ethylene would last for I think it would last long enough, actually. So we could take all these machines and just reset it up downstairs. That's a lot of ethylene. I mean, it's only a, an advanced chemical tank. It's not even the ultimate one. I mean, that's okay-ish. This stuff can go away. Let's get this out of here so that's not confusing us at all. Oh, does that not work? Does it not work because I have a shield or... I don't know why that wasn't working before. Probably because I had the shield. Okay, so it is the electrolytic separator. Crushing factory. I mean, we can just make all these things again. This isn't expensive. So crushing, PRC, PRC crushing, electrolytic. Crushing, PRC, uh, electrolytic, we need a sink, anything else, I guess chemical tanks. I didn't have it set on wrench mode. Oh, I thought I had it set on wrench mode the first time and then I switched it to empty and it still didn't work. Probably mistaken, but I thought that's what I did. Okay, so we want to make these machines here. Let's make a recipe for this. Yeah, so steel casing needs a recipe. This needs a recipe. And then we already have like the upgrade tier things, the tier. Okay, so that's done. Uh, the PRC, that needs an enrichment chamber. That needs a dynamic tank. That needs basic chemical tank. Electrolytic separator. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. You're a basic tank? Wow. 
Absolute wow. Wow. Crushing. Pressure. I don't have lava buckets. That requires a lava bucket. It does require a lava bucket. Wow. I don't have a bucket recipe. We should probably make one of those. Uh, blank pattern. Can I make some of these? Okay, we go get some lava real quick. Kenshin, you hope I'm doing well today? I'm doing pretty good today, dude. Hope you're doing good as well. Uh, boop, boop. Eat food, you will die. Not scared. Uh, so that was crushing. Electrolytic. Okay, so I need tier installers. Sure, let's make eight of those. I don't have a recipe for basic control circuits. That is... Okay. Whoops. Osmium processing pattern. This thing... Turns into that. That would be under... This one, right? How do I, it said that I didn't have any, I have 13 in here. Man, that works. Okay, what was I trying to make that said I needed that? I'm not sure. The tier installers. I don't understand. It said I didn't have any of these, and then somehow I had like 13 in there. I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. Guys, isn't auto crafting like awesome? Like, I just tell the system to make stuff, and it's like, sir, yes, sir. Something in the beat of this song sounds like dripping water and you had a mild heart attack thinking you suddenly had a leak in your office somewhere. Oh no. Yeah, so over here, this will be our crusher. We'll upgrade this. Oh, I gotta upgrade through the different tiers. I forgot. For some reason, I thought it was just like, you make the top tier one and you're good to go. No, that's not how this works. Auto crafting is the best part of modded, in your opinion. Especially when you can auto craft stuff, like with machines that are set up to be as fast as they possibly can be. Okay, 
Auto sort on. So I don't know how we're going to get the material in this chest yet. I'm just going to figure out the logistics of how the machines interact with each other, and then we'll worry about that. Oritas 1992 cheered 1000. Hey, Hypno, have a nice day and buy Max the very good food. Oritas, thank you so much for the 1000 bits, dude. I will have a nice day, and I will buy Max the very good food. Thank you, dude. Appreciate it. All right, so that needs to go... Oh, man, I forgot how this is set up. Let's go take a look again. So we can figure out the order of operations for this stuff. So that goes into the crusher. The crusher goes into a PRC. And... Okay. So maybe... It would make sense to have the electrolytic separator and the chemical tanks where we have the crusher... Move the crusher over a few blocks. Yeah. And I think I also want to store oxygen. So we'll do oxygen, electrolytic, hydrogen. And then we'll have the, P or the crusher. So tank, electrolytic, tank, Crusher. Tink. Okay, so we do tink, electrolytic. Tank, Crusher, and then right next door to that we can have, oh wait, where does the rotary condensator come into play? Crap. Oh wait, the rotary condensator is not a part of this, that is from when we were making clay okay i was like how did i miss this machine that goes away okay so now we need electrolytic i never made the prc let's go make them So the crushing factory is going to output into this. This is going to make the substrate and the ethylene. So now we need another tank. And then we can have our gas burning generators along this path over here. Okay. But then gas burning generators. I think that's it. Well, I mean, obviously there's more to this than that, but I think that's it as far as like... Alright, so now we need some fluid pipes so we can get water going into these. Two of these machines need water. Did I make the sink recipe? I did not. Let's make a sink recipe. Oops, I already have that bookmarked. Uh, recipe for terracotta. That goes there. This goes into here. And then I don't think we have a recipe for a bucket of water. So I can just put my bucket of water in there. So 
Sweet. So let me make a new bucket. We already have one. Okay, so now we need... Uh, the liquid tubes mechanical pipes. All right, so this machine needs water, and I believe that gets water from the front. This machine needs... Wasn't there two machines that needed water? Or am I still confusing this with the other thing that we had set up? Let me go take a look again. So this water goes into this, the electrolytic separator, and it also goes into the top of the PRC. Okay, so it needs hydrogen and water. Got it. Aha. Uh -huh. Now, the question that I have is, can I put water into the back of this to make this cleaner? It attaches to the back, so I assume we can do that. I can just throw the sink down there. We don't even have to have the sink exposed. I just kind of wish we had a way to like facade this off so you don't see the hole down there, but I guess it's fine. I can just kind of like make it look nicer, I suppose. I guess. Hello, Valerie7Minecraft. How are you? Oh, I just broke too many blocks. That's fine. We'll just fill this all in with this. Whatever. Good enough. Better than good enough. Okay. You're doing great. You had a long day of walking and doing stuff, so just watching your stream to relax a bit. Well, I'm glad to have you. This is a should be a nice, relaxing stream. We're just moving our power supply down in our new basement area. We already have this exact thing built upstairs. Well, basically exact thing. We're kind of changing it up just ever so slightly. Uh, but yeah, we're just kind of getting this all set up down here. All right, so electrolytic separator, I assume we can upgrade this. I haven't even tried. Maybe you can't do that. No, you can't do that. The PRC doesn't upgrade either. Okay, so I made way more of those than I needed. So we can use these, I suppose. Can you not use those on these? Or do I have to do it this way? I thought you could upgrade the tanks. Couldn't you do that before, guys? Couldn't you put the tier installer on the gas tanks to increase their capacity? I thought you could do that. I know you can craft them bigger. 
But I thought you used to be able to just like do the tier installer. Maybe not. Maybe I'm misremembering. Where you could have done that. Well, since I don't need these tier installers anymore, I just get them out of my inventory. Right, so tank, if I wanted to craft an ultimate, does it say I already have one available? To craft, to craft, to craft, to craft. Nope, it's because I placed it and broke it. Okay, well, we're just going to make three new ones. That's fine. You did in Project Dozen 2? Tanks are basic by default. Oh, did I click the wrong thing on them? Okay, that's, well, whatever, it's fine. These aren't expensive. So now we need to get power running to these machines. That's going to make it so I can see through, unfortunately. I wonder if I should move this water cable over one. I probably should do that. Sorry I'm late. I was gone for training last week. Now it puts fires out. Dude. I'm going to let it slide this one time. Don't even think about letting it happen again, though. Or else. This one time you get the free pass. Oh, that's got to get fixed. And that's got to get fixed. Okay, well. We could clean this up even more. Underneath each one of these machines. I'm just thinking out loud. Underneath each one of these machines, I could put a quantum entangle porter. And I could have one specifically to provide power and water. And that way we don't need the pipes with the water showing. But either way, we need to have like power. What's the power lines called? Universal. Well, I need a quantum and tangle little porter there anyway for the power, at the very least.
uh private this one set site config we want energy to be output auto eject on so hydrogen's coming over here this machine we want wait this is wrong okay hold up hold up what i screw up i know i know what i'm what's going on So either way, we have to have a gas pipe exposed. I guess we just run a gas pipe over the top of this. Okay. Can you do that? Yeah, you should be able to do that. Oops. We can run it through the front too, but I think we're just going to do it over top. This needs to be set so we have output on the top. So we have hydrogen, we have water. This just needs the crushed stuff that's going to come from here. So this needs the input of kelp. That's the only thing that we're missing at this point. We have power, power, power. We have hydrogen, we have oxygen. Okay, so the oxygen side... Which one's the oxygen? I think that is the one on this side. Dumping excess. Okay. Right, so now we need upgrades. So speed upgrade, we need 24. What I hold on a second. I think I just clicked minus 1000. So 24 of those. I need 24 energy. I don't have gold dust recipe. We have a different gold dust. Energy upgrade. Whoa, 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 energy upgrade. I'm confused. I just made the gold dust. I just put it as part of the recipe and now it's saying we don't know how to make that. Is the recipe that we have for gold dust is say we're making something else? It does. So does that mean this recipe is not completed? It does. Okay, so figured out the problem. So this guy goes here, that gets erased, that gets replaced. That's the problem. Energy upgrade, 24 please. Mm. Okay, so we have these. Oops. Alright. Energy upgrades. Speed upgrades. All right, so these are all maximized. That is a lot of power that we're using, 40,000. 
I don't know if we can keep up with 40,000, but it's not going to be using that much for long. Wait, never mind. Yes, it is. Are we keeping up with 40,000? It looks like we're keeping up with flying colors, too. Easy. PLZ just breathe just resubbed for 14 months. Thanks for great streams and keeping us company, sparkling heart. Please just breathe. Thank you so much for the 14 month resub. Glad you're enjoying the streams and the company that I help provide. I enjoy your company too. Okay, so we just need to get this thing some kelp. Do we run kelp under the floor over there like we've been doing using the mechanism things or do we use applied energistics? I feel like AE makes sense. That way we can like visually see how much kelp we have and if we need it, we can just grab it. I also feel like this needs to come out one more block. Oh boy. There was some kelp in that. Okay. AE would be faster and easier to hide. Oh, uh, let's see here. Well, we already have applied energistics down here. So we, all we got to do is just pull off that line and then bring it over here. So let's go grab some keyboard. So we'll have a storage bus right here. It's dark. I can't see. I need a. I need an Oreo cookie. So we can just run right off this line here. Hey, are you playing a specific pack? Which version of Minecraft are you playing? This is 116, and yes, we are playing a specific pack here. The name of the pack is in the title of the live stream. Um, 
I guess that's going to be removed anyway, because this is all going to be filled in with the lily pads. We can just go ahead and get rid of that, I guess. All right, so that'll be a storage bus. Let's go get one of those. I don't have a storage bus, huh? Storage bus. I didn't make that a processing pattern, did I? I didn't. I cancel this and redo it. So this is going to be priority 1000 and that's going to go into our drawer. So I guess at this point I can get rid of pretty much the entire kelp farm over here. Let's move the drawer over and get that hooked up to applied energistics. You guys are saying wrong mode. Why are you saying wrong mode? The storage bus, I fixed it? I don't understand. You know what? I'm not even going to bother doing that. We're just going to fill that up. Um, so I should be able to see kelp now. Yep. Oh, you're talking about the pattern. Oh, now that makes more sense. I don't have like an easily accessible sink. I know I just made one, but we hit it underneath the floor and it's not easily accessible. Yeah, the kelp is our whole power source. Mm -hmm. So I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Uh yeah, I guess we'll do fifteen. Probably probably just fourteen though. No, we'll just do fourteen. Fourteen lily pads of fertility. I don't know how many we have out here. I don't think we have that many. We have three. <laughs> Not quite that many. We have all the stuff to make more of them, so I'm not concerned. Well, that'll start doing something. Um, why the hopper pipe set to insert will be quicker and less likely to overflow. So that's the whole thing is we want it to overflow into the hopper. The hopper is going to be what we're reading with a comparator to emit a redstone signal to turn off the farm. So like when we're not using 
as much kelp. The farm doesn't need to be constantly growing and doing all of its stuff. So that's going to be your off mechanism. Uh, we can't do a comparator directly on the drawers because the way the drawers work, you have to put an upgrade in them and then they'll emit a redstone signal based on like how much stuff is full. And it, it's just a whole weird thing. Anyway, this is the best solution that we came up with. So we're just going to continue to use this. Trust me, the uh, hopper doesn't really have any bearing on like the speed of the farm. It won't matter. Uh... Okay, so I guess we could set up a pattern for lily pads or fertility. I don't know if we have... We do have cactus. So I need a recipe for a cactus green. And that is gonna be this. No, that actually is this. And then I need a recipe for this cactus paste. And that is a processing pattern. Okay. So furnace can do this. That is a regular pattern. That's fine. That's fine. So lily pad, I need like 11 more, I think. Catalyzing gland, missing one, available 32. Let's make 10. We'll be one lily pad short. We can go farm those, it's fine. This really is overkill anyway. All right, Nath, we'll catch you later. Yes, the vacuumulator vacuums items in a nine by nine by nine. We'll see you next time. Take care, dude. Yeah, we could use Applied Energistics for that, but... Hmm... Well, at this point, it actually probably wouldn't be that bad of an idea to do that. And if we do apply energistics for that, we can get rid of the hopper. We can just pipe directly into the drawer. This thing's already full. <laughs> so this is 16, right? So if we're going to do that, we'd have the AE thing come up here, the level emitter. I guess we can do that. That probably is the better way of doing this. See ya, Valerie. Take care. If we're doing that, I guess I don't need the target blocks like we were doing before. Mm, I think that actually needs to be up one higher. Whoa. So this is going to be level emitting kelp. And how much does this drawer hold? 
So we'll see 196,000. One, nine, six, zero, zero, zero. Admit when levels are above or equal to limit. One, nine, six, zero, zero, zero. Kelp. Okay. So then we just need to run this over. Uh, actually, this goes forward one more. Okay, so that should stop this farm. This should just extend and stay extended here in a moment. There we go. All right, so now the farm is off, controlled by Applied Energistics. If you use a level emitter to turn off a redstone torch, then if full or if AE system fails, the system shuts down. I don't know, I think it'll be fine. So what I need to do is actually remove these and then replace them with a facade. Maybe I can do it while they're still there. I don't know. Yeah, I think that needs to be gone for me to place this. Yeah, that doesn't work. Okay, we know for sure that this works. Now we need to break and redo it. Turn on. Danny, there is a void upgrade in there. That's how this was working before. This would back up. Or actually, no. Uh, Yeah, we could now put a, a void upgrade in there. You're right. Yeah, we had no void upgrade in there previously, so this could back up. Yes, yeah, so we could do that now. But honestly, I guess, I guess we could. It doesn't really matter, but I guess we could. I have a void upgrade. We use void upgrades for something else and I can't remember what. I guess all of our other drawers that we're storing stuff from the B area.
Valor says, so many years of life of AE mod and no good cover placement like thermal expansion. Yeah, I don't like the fact that you can't place a cover on top of a block like that, on top of a cable partway through. Like you have to remove the cable and place it at the end of the cable and place like your extension back. I don't like that. Are Annihilation planes still a thing? Saves block updates with pistons. It would save block updates. I don't know if that would remove the water. I don't know how that would work. So this we need to extend out. Hmm. I guess the storage bus we can put up on the side and put a cover on top of it. This should be going up to this thing though. Yeah, we'll put that on the side. Why didn't that update these things? If I remove the storage bus from this drawer, the system should think that it has less than 197 or 96,000 kelp. So what's up with that? We have four. Oh, I guess it just takes it a minute to update. Now it's updated, okay. Okay, so that's doing that, and this isn't quite set up the way that I needed it to be set up. So this needs to go over one more block. There we go. And then this needs to come out one. Okay, so now we should be all set up. Then we just need a facade on top of this guy. Boom. I think we're good. So the only other thing that we got to worry about is like, how is our power outside doing and how much time do we have before this is going to run out of power? Cause we spent a bunch of time like messing with that. And I forgot we are kind of on a timer here. We got a while, but we need to get that hooked up. Yeah, unfortunately you can't turn the drawers so they're facing upwards. That's not an option with the drawers. They only face the four cardinal directions, not up or down. Okay, so now we need over here an export bus with kelp. Uh, probably not. Probably not that many.
I was almost thinking I should run the line from there all the way over here, but I could just about as easily run it from there to here. Probably better to do it that way. Oh, water everywhere. Okay, so the one thing I need to know is how many channels we're using. I guess we can see here. So we're using, I think that'll be seven when that finally gets a channel, I think. Or maybe I already got a channel. Uh, we need one piece of kelp to put in the export bus. In this mod pack, the wireless terminal uh, upgrades, the range extending upgrades are kind of broken. And this is going to output. I, mean, I guess we're gonna do that. I should give myself some acceleration. So that we are going to output auto eject on. I guess we're gonna need one more channel for an import bus on the substrate. Hmm. Okay, we're making the ethylene. Yeah, this thing won't work. I guess we could just have a push a substrate to the front like we're doing out here. And just re lag. And just reuse the same thing. Side config front output auto eject on. There we go. So yeah, making the ultimate crushing factory probably a little overkill. Probably. I actually don't know how overkill it is, but it's definitely using more than one of these lines. Okay, so now we need to get some gas burning generators out here and then hook up the fuel to them. Now the gas burning generators, I do not remember if you can just put fuel in in any direction or do they have a specific port? Because 
looks like they have oh that's right so they have one port for the power out and like the other ones are the gas in does it have one on the bottom it doesn't um So I guess we'll have these facing with the power output to the back. I have no idea how many of these we need. I'll probably make like three of them. Will I store the power? Not until we need to have like large power storage. Right now, like we haven't even came close to maxing out the one and we're going to be making like three of these which is way overkill So let's find out. So pressurize. Does this connect on the bottom side? Oops. Whoa. It does connect to the bottom. So we could hide the gas pipe underneath. We could do that. I think that would probably end up looking cleaner. So we'll output on the bottom. These guys, I was thinking that we were going to have them facing the other way, but I think we'll actually have them facing this way. Uh, that's energy. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, I didn't grab more of the pressurized. So we'll do that. Okay. So we have that set. So now, I really wish we didn't have to see that underneath here. It's really unfortunate. Uh, yeah, so we'll do that. I mean, I guess we could also have this come out the back and then connect this way. Maybe I'll do that instead. We'll just do it this way. And the front will have a quantum entangle of porter. Uh, universal. I did this in the wrong order. I gotta remake all of these. Okay, so we upgrade those. Upgrade that. Upgrade that. All right, so this is gonna be private. This is gonna be set to hypno power. Side config, input, in, uh, energy. We need input. All of this is gonna be just input. input so this is gonna put power into it this is gonna put power into it that's gonna put power into it right 
So at this point, I think we can go shut down with the operation we have outside because this should all be powering. I don't know what's why it's using so much power. Producing 4300. Oh, it's not actually using that much power. So the one outside probably is turned off already. You can hold shift with clicking the IO and mech to quickly to set it to none. I know you can do it in thermal. I didn't think that was a thing in mechanism. Yeah, this one's already done. Okay, so we get rid of that. Because we don't need this anymore. Like, all this stuff we can tear down, actually. Did I set the tank output on the back? I think so, but I can go double check. Maybe not. How do I select? Oh, control click. Come on. I guess I gotta sh shift scroll. Let's go look. Oh, it looks like we didn't set that because that pipe looks empty. Looks fine now. Good catch. Yeah, I've been middle clicking, but you can't middle click for dirt when you're middle clicking on grass. It won't work. Um, so tearing this down is going to be a pain. I guess we start at the top. I need to get rid of the water. So getting rid of the water down here, I think we just vein mine these stairs away. We have a builder's wand. Does this work through liquids? Sweet. Do I have sponges? I don't think so. Pretty sure we haven't gone and fought any temples or monuments.
I have no idea what I just did. Got it solved. It's really annoying that you cannot place a water block instead of a water logged block. Because you can, or I'm sorry, you can't place a water bucket. You can't empty a water bucket inside of a already logged water logged block. But you can do that, like, you can place water into water. I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me. I find that frustrating. How long you for? Yes. What? Maybe. Fifteen? So at this point, we can free up those loaded chunks. So I think I have one of these inside the house. I guess I can move. And I think I have one in that portal, like on the other side of the portal. There's one over there, that tree. I think this one's redundant. I'm clearing my inventory. Squeakers, how you doing, dude? Everybody's a dude here. I call everybody a dude. Non-gender specific word when I use it. Everybody's a dude and everybody is 62. That is correct. We're all 62 year old dudes. <laughs> it's just easier that way, but I mean, if, if you want to make it known, you can make it known, but. You're a 50 year old woman. Well, welcome. You are absolutely welcome here as just like everybody else is. All right, so we no longer need that. This can go into him. That can go in my offhand. So this was my old hydrogen tank. I don't think we need that. And didn't I also have... Didn't I also have another tank? Did I not pick that up? That had the original ethylene in it? Or did I already put that? Maybe I already put that away. You love watching you and Hermitcraft? It's the only SMP you follow? I'm glad you enjoy the Hermitcraft. That's awesome. Uh, Tink. Ethylene. Whoa there. Calm down. 
So yeah, this... I don't want that to connect, so let's fix that real quick. Configurate gases. Okay. So this we want to output to the bottom, auto eject on, and fill that up. Well, thank you. Actually, maybe it wouldn't be a bad idea to have like a backup tank of ethylene just in like in case oh crap cap how much you love watching me through my window well if you're trying to be a stalker if you're telling me you're doing it is that really stalking Put kelp in my dink knoll, how about no? Maybe we should actually have a tank of ethylene just in case. I was gonna just dump it all into there but like what happens if something breaks and the fuel all gets used up what do we do for power at that point like it'd be kind of it'd be pretty much boned at that point so we need to have like a backup oh crap all of our power is out how do we get power again Do you plan on upgrading the generators or do you not need it yet? I don't think we need it. Each one of these generators produce like 40,000 ish. We only had one generator before and we never maxed it out. We have three of them now and we haven't like done anything that ups our power requirement yet. What is that saying? Chemical. Oh, it's saying chemical none. I kind of just want to get this thing completely full. Might as well just place it on the wall behind a glass pane in case of emergency break glass. We could do that. It's kind of amusing. All right, that's full. Yeah, we could do that. Mmm, that has to be further back. Let me go grab some more oak planks. And... I was gonna make it out of a different color wood. I, mean, I guess we could do it out of spruce. I guess it doesn't need to be two blocks tall, but we're making it two blocks tall, dang it. Can you do dyes? We can't make it super glowy because this is 116. That's fine.
Do I plan on storing the power? We don't really have a need to store large quantities of power at this time. This needs a storage bus. We're using six six channels? Yeah, we can we can put a storage bus on that. So we have substrate available. I'm almost wondering if I should just put these drawers, like we have a kelp drawer down there and a substrate drawer down there. I'm almost wondering if I should just move that over to the B area and just connect it up to our same storage drawer thing, or if I should keep that separate. Because we could just put like a uh, interface or an import bus instead. An interface instead of the drawer down there for the kelp and like an import bus for the substrate. And we can figure that out later. It's fine. It's not important. Party 1000. Wait, did I connect that? Yes, I did. Okay. Oh, I guess another thing that I wanted to see was if that was fully upgraded. He used two more upgrades. No, oh, I guess I have to have empty hand. There we go. How many bees are there in this mod pack? That many. You can count them. Really, it won't let me F that into my inventory or into my offhand, okay. Hydrogen. I guess we'll just store that for now. Yeah, we're using seven channels now down here. It's not a big deal. And we have the ability to have 32. I think. Or did we run this from like E892? I think we were sharing that with another one. We might not have a full 32 channels available. Coming off this one. So there's like 10 more channels available. And then if we need more than that, we can put it on its own P2P. Yeah, so this is pretty good. So we have our power storage, we have our power generation. I'm sorry, we have our power, our fuel generation, and our power generation. No power storage. I don't think we need power storage. And I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, the sounds a mechanism. That's why we have this all the way down here. So when we're up here doing stuff, just nice and silent.
Hello, Firehawk. When will you have another Hernetcraft video? Probably when I record one. Whenever that is. I don't know when that is. But when it happens, if you follow my YouTube channel and turn on all notifications, you will get notified. You will be the first to know when it happens. Mm. Okay, so I think that about wraps up what I wanted to do in this live stream. The only other thing that I've been considering, and I'm not sure I want to do that, would be to put these bees under there too, like as a separate floor. I'm not sure I actually want to do that. That would clean up a little bit more space here though. Like free up more of these. We wouldn't need as many of these things chunk loaded. It's not really a big deal. Oh, I guess I don't need this claimed anymore. Oops. Let me unclaim those chunks. I'll have to think about that. Think about that. I'm not sure what we're going to do yet. Could stack them in a B tower. That is a possibility. I'm not sure I want to do that either. Because that would be a little annoying trying to get into each one. Although, I guess we have... We, we have the ability to like fly into them. But yeah, I'm not sure I want to do that. For those of you who haven't seen that, these bees are where we're getting our resources from. Like, we have no quarry or anything like that. All of the resources are from these little fellas. They do a very good job. I'm missing a dirt block. Fixed. When is your next modded Let's Play series? I don't know. You're asking the tough questions, my dude. Asking the tough ones. Guys, we're going to wrap the stream up here for today. Ran out of things that I wanted to get done. We were just too quick to get them all done. Moving our power supply, getting that all straightened up underneath. Had a pretty good, pretty good stream, I would say. I liked it very much. I hope you guys did too. We only made it like halfway through this Monster Cat Uncaged Volume 11 album. There's 85 songs on this album. What the heck? How do they have so many songs? It's a lot. Yeah, our next live stream scheduled for Friday. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit the follow button so you get notified when I go live. I think you also have to turn on notifications to get notified. Otherwise, I'll just show up in your follows list. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys for this day. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Let me see. One second. No other hermits are streaming. Okay. So I'm just going to let you guys go. Thanks for, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for the support. See you next time, guys. Bye-bye. I miss you guys already. No, I miss you more.